Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. In this episode, we're going to be solving a physics 7c practice problem on the topic of quantum particles, quantum mechanics. As usual, if you're finding this content helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It really helps our channel. So this is a problem that we're going to be working with, uh, protons versus electrons. And the problem goes as follows. An electron and a proton have the same wavelength. Which particle has the greater momentum? which particle has a greater kinetic energy, and then calculate the ratio of the electron's kinetic energy to the proton's kinetic energy. So as you can see, I have everything uh, written down over here. So let's just go ahead. This should be a pretty easy problem because all we have to do is use our uh, new definitions for, um, for momentum and for energy that were given to us during the past DLs, I'm not following DLs, but certainly on lecture. So just going back to uh, momentum, so if our equation is lambda is equal to h over p, then that means that momentum is equal to h over lambda. Now, the, in this particular case, the problem is saying that they have the same wavelength. So both the proton and the electron have the same wavelength. And then this H is just this Planck's constant. So this is a constant and this is the same for both of them. Therefore, both particles have the same momentum final answer again this is only because on this particular uh, quiz uh, both of the particles have the same uh, wavelength so now for the second part who has uh, a greater kinetic energy so let's go ahead and see so for kinetic energy we are giving the equation Two, two m, which follows from m v squared divided by two. So if you do m v squared divided by two, and then remember that momentum is m v, then you get this equation pretty much. Um, so yes, so this is how it is. Now, uh, this momentum is the same for both of them. But then this mass, is not the same. It's not the same because the kinetic energy of the proton is going to uh, use the mass of the proton, the kinetic energy of the electron is going to use the mass of the electron. So no, they are not going to have the same kinetic energy. Now who's going to have the greater kinetic energy? Well, the greater kinetic energy is going to be for whomever has the lesser mass, so the electron has a greater kinetic energy because both have the same momentum, but mass of the electron is smaller than mass of the proton. So final answer is that the electron has a greater kinetic energy. So now for part three, what they want is uh, a ratio. So they want kinetic energy of an electron divided by kinetic energy of a proton. So we basically just have to go ahead and uh, do our equations. I'm just gonna put it out there to um, electron. So like this, uh, th these cancel out and then these two cancel out. So basically I have one over, So they get flipped essentially. So this is mass proton over mass electron. So this, um, they got flipped because it's one over divided by one over. So this is 1.67 
um, kilograms, which cancels out kilograms. So I'm not going to write that 9.11. So let's just put this on a calculator. Um, 1.67 times 10 to the negative 27, close, close, divided by 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31, no, 31, close, closed. So one eight three three point one. No units because kilograms divides kilograms, so they cancel out. So final answer. So this is the this is the end of the problem. So this was a little bit of a conceptual problem, and see if you can apply your definitions from physics seven B. A lot of people remember, uh, you know, their MV equations. So based on that, a lot of people might jump and say that the proton has more mass or the proton has more momentum, but that is only assuming that they have the same velocity, which in this case they don't. They have the same wavelength. So given the same wavelength, you actually have to use um, this equation over here uh, because you don't really know anything about the velocities. And if you use the right equation for the right topic, then everything should uh, go ahead and run very smoothly. If you guys have any questions, please make sure to leave a comment. I do read them. Uh, if you find this content helpful, please make sure to leave a like. That helps a lot. And I'll see you on the next video.